Ezekiel in that prophecy continues and is hinting a strong friendship with the Arabian Peninsula and of course also weak America and Europe. And it's very interesting what he says. He says, Sheba and Dedan, these are the names of the Saudi Arabian Peninsula today. Sheba and Dedan, the merchants of Tarshish, Western Europe, and all the young lions, which considered to be what America was born of, will say to those that come against Israel, have you come to plunder? to take plunder and to gather your armies, to take booty, to carry away silver and gold and to take away livestock and goods, to take great plunder. It is the moderate Sunni Muslim countries as well as the Europeans and the Americans that will criticize the radical attack on Israel from the side of Russia, Iran and Turkey. And it's very interesting because they will identify the fact that they're coming against stuff that we have, such as natural gas, oil and all of our technologies. And now comes the point, and, and, and I want to make it very, very clear. October 7th was a point where many Israelis were shaken to their core because for us, the military was always something almost holy. Something that we trust in levels that we don't trust anything else in the country. We don't trust the judicial system, the political system, the, the executive branch. We don't trust political part. We don't trust anything even remotely close to, to how we trust the military. And in, in the, the, the crisis was for many Israelis that the military failed to defend its people. And it's interesting because if you think that in the war that Ezekiel describes that is coming next, it is the military of Israel that is going to be so strong and so good in order to bring about a victory, you better kiss that thought goodbye. This will be a victorious ending of a war, but it will be a divine victory.